Let's talk for a moment about the Sharpen Volcano Fragment, one of the most pathetic weapons in Team Fortress 2 history. I've had a few different videos in which I call out the Volcano Fragment for being the garbage that it is, but what's interesting is just how many people actually use it and are upset that I'm bashing it. They offer a few of the same vague arguments as to why I'm wrong and it's actually a good weapon, each of which I'm going to shoot down right now. First is it's helpful if you run out of ammo for your flamethrower and your flare gun but still want to light people on fire. And I would see that, except Team Fortress 2 drops a half ammo box on any player's death now, and that's enough to refill 100 units of ammo for any flamethrower. So, to put it simply, you're telling me that you could not kill a single person by the time you used up all of your ammo in the flamethrower and your flare gun without not only killing someone yourself, but even finding a dead body that someone else had killed. You know what, let's see just how long it takes to burn through the pyro's ammo like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't buy that. Oh, but maybe if you're using the back burner and you reflected four times without killing someone. Okay, well you still have your flare gun, which is a better choice for retreating while you get more ammo, but let's say that maybe, just maybe, you spam the flare gun so much without ever hitting a target that you ran out beforehand. Then the volcano fragment is the only weapon left and getting ammo back is of high concern. So, what would you want? To light them on fire and wait for them to slowly burn to death while they chip away at your health? Or just grab a back scratcher, a fire axe, a third degree, a power jack, or hell, maybe even the Neon Annihilator under the right circumstances, and just heal them off quickly so you can go back to wasting all of your air blasts and flare shots. Second is it's good for building the Flog's oomph meter. Yeah, so are the flare guns, and those help you build it from across the map. Plus, even if they are at point blank melee range, you know what builds it faster in that situation and does more damage? The Flog itself. I mean, come on. Well, maybe you're out of ammo on the flog, and then it is the best way to build your oomph. Yeah, good. That works. But wait. Your flog's out of ammo. What's the point of building it if you can't use it? Run back to spawn and then get metal? You should have done that when you ran out of metal on the flog in the first place. Or, you know, just find any ammo pack laying around. And then it would still be more effective at close range than the volcano fragment. Third is it's good for quick burst damage to kill someone quickly. Yeah and so is every other pyro melee in the game, most of which do it better than the Volcano Fragment. So, no, I'm not accepting that answer, and I'm not even going into any further detail than that. And lastly, the fourth one, and by far the most common, is it's good in medieval mode. No, it's not, and let me explain why. The Volcano Fragment's whole idea is that it does 20% less damage for afterburn. In a melee-only mode, yeah, that would be helpful, as if they run away, they just burn to death, right? Except for every player that dies, a small health kit is dropped in medieval mode. A health kit that can put out those flames. So, unless this is medieval 1v1, it is useless here too. But what not only is a direct upgrade to the stock fire axe in medieval mode, and is not just unhindered by the fact that small health kits are laying around, but actually uses them for an even larger advantage. The back scratcher! Better than the Volcano Fragment in medieval mode in every possible way, even in 1v1 for its 25% more damage. And with its 50% extra health from health kits, it can restore around up to half of your health for each one you pick up. So I'm sorry everyone, if you use the Volcano Fragment and enjoy it, that's fine, but please don't even attempt to defend it and call it a good weapon because in every feasible situation, it is just a downgrade from all of Pyro's other weapons, and I hope to god they change it in the Pyro update because right now, it's less than worthless. It's nothing.